60 kilowatt owners may be getting a cheaper upgrade, and I have some errata from the last show. Here are your Tesla tidbits for January 16th, 2017. It was strange as Friday and the weekend didn't produce much to talk about, and usually I'm cutting stories to help keep things neat and tidy for you. But we'll start with Electrek reporting that those with the software upgradable 60 kilowatt hour vehicles may be getting a discount if they should choose to pop for the upgrade to 75. As we already know, simply for not electing the upgrade from the beginning, you take a penalty for any software upgradable feature. Previously, this was $9,000 to get from the 60 to the 75. However, some folks have begun to see that their number is 7000 rather than the previous 9,000. Electrek reached out to Tesla for comment as to whether this is a promotional event or permanent change, as well as if this applies to all owners, but has not yet received a reply. While it's still only a $6,500 option if you take the 75-kilowatt-hour car from the beginning, Tesla may be fishing for those U.S. folks that didn't want to spare the coin then, but are now getting those tax ret- returns with the $7,500 credit with tax season approaching. This also may be a play to set expectations for Model 3 pricing. It has been theorized that Model 3 would also use the software-upgradable battery model to save production costs, and a $7,000 post-purchase upgrade might be more in line with what low-end luxury car buyers buyers might expect. Of course, we still have no idea of options or pricing right now, but now that we're in 2017, I'd put my money on hearing about them before the quarter is out. Lastly today, a comment on Friday's show called my attention to a fairly grievous error I made in putting the show together. While commenting on the new supercharger credit system, I made a comment that a 30-minute charge at the supercharger was basically a full tank of gas, and I was correctly called out in the YouTube comments for the show that this isn't the case. My thought process here was that the usual 30 to 45 minute charge should easily get you to your next supercharger, but the error in that logic is obviously that 30 minutes is not usually putting the car at 80% regardless of state of charge coming into the supercharger, and again, we don't know the incoming state of charge. If you roll in with 20% and top up to 80%, that's certainly not a full tank worth of charging. I could make that case if you were nearly de- near fully depleted, but again, 30 minutes probably isn't going to cut it to make that 80% level. The commenter and I do disagree, as he said it was more like a third tank, and I'd argue it's closer to half, but regardless, it's nowhere near full. Please accept my apologies for the error. I try very much to ensure what I say on the show is accurate. Check out the links to today's full stories in the show description. If you get some value out of the show, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash teslatibbits. Thanks so much to Cookie UK for joining super patrons John Waltower and Drew Schuyler with support at the $10 plus level. As I tell you guys all the time, everyone's support is very much appreciated. Although, if you have nothing to spare, no worries at all, friends. You can still support the show for free with positive reviews and by spreading word of the show. If you have feedback for me, just like earlier in the show you heard, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tibbets or hit me in the YouTube comments as that was the case. That's it for today. See you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.